And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing City Skylines with the After Dark and Natural Disasters. All right. Well, I uh, after much tweaking and playing around here, I got a good train line going. I wanted to make sure the spacing was okay, so I wanted to lay out a sort of idea of how I wanted to do these districts or these uh, commercial areas. So. Um, I usually try to get these into a sort of layout that works well, at least on this side. And now that I think about it, um, I'm not sure. Well, I think that'll work. Um, this side is going to be a little different. We've got a longer way to go because I've already bound it into the highway system over here. Just like I said, I was going to bring it down and bind it in over here because we're going to have a big suburb area over here with a whole bunch of low-density residential. Uh, the commercial area is going to be a little bit more organized and grid-like, whereas the sort of the suburbs are going to be little cul-de-sacs and little areas for uh, little, you know families to grow and develop and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, with some gonna have some um you know mass transit options to get back in here one of them being the train so i wanted to bind the train into this into this system and continue it on its path so it no longer goes around the lake it comes straight down under underneath the highway here and then does some crazy zany things over here. So with that, I think we will be able to lay out some more of these roads here. So what the what the pattern was, basically I wanted to cover everything with the with the grid. Uh, and I wanted four, you know, four on each side. Um, whereas this one I wanted a gap of two in between to leave room for the rail line so i went the regular four and then i went two more out so here this is this is two two there's the new one oh i want to i want to shrink that down actually i did figure out the key bind it's c and v to raise and lower that okay so there is that road there so the next one is going to have to be a, a big one because it's two and then a then a main road so this one's going to be there's the four there and then four right there so this should be matched right up with that so can i i can't really tell if that's going to come across or not it's not but i can drag that one out like that so this one I might be able to oh yeah I can it's like that so can I redesign that's that segment right there to actually utilize I can I just drag it straight over yeah unfortunately these the the support pillars are not smart enough to avoid the streets so unlike uh, transport fever where they they are dynamic and they set themselves properly uh, they don't do that on this game so that's kind of what we have to deal with there so I want to bring those all the way in destroy the stubs and then build them right out to meet the end. It's like that. There we go. And I think they're a different color because we have it paused and they're not wet. Uh, so if we let those get rained on a little bit, they might change they might change color because it's the exact same road. It's the regular road with turning lane. This, just like in here, but they're not exactly wet yet. But I pause it so we stay daytime. I don't want it to get all dark and hard to see. 
So we're going to drag this one all the way out. So now we've got a huge block in here. And we're going to continue this process. Uh, on this side, I want a little bit longer because I need to get this road right in here. Um, so I think we're just going to arbitrarily set a point. I'm not going to count it out. I'm not going to get all specific with it. So there is the main road between there and there. With this, I made an eight-lane road. So this main north-south road right here, that's an eight-lane road um, for no reason other than to, than to use something like that not really sure uh, we're gonna probably need another set in here somewhere because that is really not that really isn't very optimal so I would like with this with this rail right here I would actually like a main road connecting here and here um, and then let's remove this one. Because that was a little too far right there. So let's see. Where was a good spot? Right about... Right about here. That's a good spot for one. And then over here is a little bit of a nuisance. Um... So this is going to have to be like a special case. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that yet. But if we go back to the smaller road, see there's a basic road with turning lane. I really like these roads. Um, so we're going to line this up right along this. And then keep it going to the next one. And then connect there. Not there. So I go right to the edge. Plus one. And that covers the whole the whole shebang there. And that way we can have a lot of traffic in here going in and out of the commercial areas, and all of that traffic gets funneled to bigger and bigger streets as they go out. So I can always upgrade, like this road, I could upgrade to the, to the, to the six lane. Uh, if I go to heavy roads, uh, there should be in here, six lane with bicycle. And there's the eight lane there. All we're missing is the six lane with turning lane. I don't think that's an option. It's like the one it's like the one thing that we don't have access to and in here um, not a hundred percent sure how I want to do this so what we're gonna do is set up nope that's one too many there we go I'm going to connect it like this. That way, those roads get used, and this road will be a main thoroughfare because uh, we're going to connect all of this stuff up here, too. So, in here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, that connects like that. That connects like that. So in here is a little bit of a tricky situation. So I think we're just going to run the lines. Like that. And then put in the bigger road. Just ignoring the fact that it's not a throughway. Unfortunately, uh, we might be able to do a walking path and connect those two. 
So let's go look at that walking path. Um, zonable pedestrian paved road. So it's zonable. Interesting. Okay, how do we connect? So we can connect it like that, but I don't want it. I want it to be a walkway, and I think that's under parks. Uh, no. What are... It's not under parks. It's not under mass transit, I don't think. Okay, it's not under that. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, terraforming. That's where it was. Okay, so we're going to try... Whoa. Oh, we can go over. Okay, we can go over that. We're just going to connect it like that. And I don't think this really likes trying to connect. Yeah, see, it doesn't like connecting. Oh. Uh, I don't think it likes connecting like that. So, we could... Oh, come on. Get the finger on the right key. Something like <clears throat> something like that. At least would connect the pedestrians that get off on the on the bus or the train line. It would connect them up here. <clears throat> All right, so far so good. Now it's just a matter of let's work on a little bit more organic looking roads here. Um, so let's we need a a main highway connection. First of all, this is where all of our traffic from this residential area is going to funnel into. So let's first get a nice wide area to cover here. And we're going to do a stack interchange because we've got some stuff over here that we're going to want to connect up to. So let's get that at least looking like it's a natural fit and then we need the highway three lane highway this goes this way just like that okay so now we're gonna have to come out a little ways here and here and then connect into I'm not going to connect into a very big road at first because I don't think it's needed um, well we're in, we, I mean it's going to be quite a few people over here we're going to have one let's do one main road that is nice and decorated decorated so a six lane road with decorative trees, we're going to turn on the curvy curviness. We're going to start it here. So we'll do it a little further away. Start it right here. And we're going to just do a gentle, a gentle curve over here. And that gives us our general main through fair. And then we're going to try to connect from here. Oh, no. 
turn on. So there is our rather bumpy. Wow, there's a huge hill there. I didn't even didn't even realize it. Uh, that is a rather steep hill, but uh, I think that works. So the next thing is the secondary street. So that's our primary. Now we need secondary. Uh, let's turn on curviness again. And we're going to get a, I need one big, one big skeleton rib over here. So let's get this one curved out this way. And we're going to bind it with one that's curved out this way. Oh, I accidentally clicked, but that's fine. Okay. And one last one over here. And that um, rail will probably have to go somewhere else. And then one... Now remember, we don't have any more that we can buy. So we have to sort of make do with what we've got. So this one will be a little shorter one. And then one stub out that way so that's the primary and we have two secondaries so now we want uh, the tertiary the sort of the neighborhood roads coming off of these so those will be the regular roads with turning lanes and we're gonna have um, I'm not going to do too many of these, but I want, I, well, I want enough for a few houses. Um, let's, I'm going to build one up here and we're going to try to make these sort of neighborhoody. So, you know, bring it up and around and come around like this connect back into the road you know the next one will come right up through the middle that so this will be a nice graceful neighborhood we're gonna have a little bit we're gonna have some more side streets in here with with sort of even even uh, smaller roads but for now so this one can come all the way and connect connect here this one can come down a little bit and connect way up here. This one will do the same sort of thing. And then up here, we're going to have another one coming out. Actually, let's do a little bit further. Like that. And this one is going to be crazy. Uh, and let's connect this with this. So, continuing that design. Come up right through here. These are all of our secondary, secondary, no, these are the tertiaries that we're putting in now. Okay. So from here, I want one coming up like this. That's a little too far. So this one's going to branch out this way. And these... I can't connect them to this. This is our primary road. Only the secondaries are going to connect to that. So I want one coming out like this. 
And this is a secondary stub, so this one can connect up to that. And let's just connect. Okay, that. I can connect gracefully like that. Let's do one on the edge. And then one coming off each side. Like that. Okay, the neighborhood is coming together. We're slowly, we're slowly bringing it in. Um, let's see if we can't put a few more. No, I want, I don't want that to be. There we go. That's better. Another one coming out. See, it, it stops the bow when you try to connect. So I want to continue that. And then over here, this is going to be a tricky one here because we got one going that way. And I think we're just going to do something like this. And coming off the front. And then one coming off the side. Like this. All right, getting there. We just have a few more roads to place. Let me get some of the other roads in here, and then we can work on the final little alleyways and stuff in between so we can fill in some of these bigger gaps that just don't have anything in them. Um, this is one of the reasons why I wish you could put in parks that aren't next to, aren't next to roads. Um, we might be able to do it with walking paths, though. I should do that a quick test right here and see if I can put a park I can I can put a park on a path like this good that will help all right well that'll do it for this episode so I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time